A great way to grow healthy crops, a pretty garden, or a nice lawn is to start indoors. This is UT Extension's Soil, Plant, and Pest Center at the Ellington Ag Center in Nashville, where little pieces of Tennessee come for analysis. These are soil samples that we've received from the post office today. On a spring day, Debbie Joins will get 800 soil samples, some from big row crop and pasture farmers, but also homeowners. The center did more than 6,000 tests in March. You really don't know what you need until you do a soil analysis. You can't tell by looking. Soil tests can be done any month of the year, but spring is always a good time to see what you've got to work with for the growing season. These tests measure the nutrients in the soil and whether you need to add fertilizers or chemicals to boost fertility. We have many different colors and types of soils. Soil content can vary greatly from region to region in Tennessee. Much of our soil is clay-based and acidic and needs lime to optimize nutrition. Using a simple kit from your local UT Extension office that cost a mere $7, you can have your soil tested. We look at pH, of course. We look at phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Phosphorus and potassium are primary nutrients, and those are the nutrients that plants cannot do without. With plants, there are instances when we may think we're using the wrong seed or watering too little or too much, but it's really an issue of imperfections in the soil. Well, with phosphorus, you look at blooms, so your tomatoes may not produce as much fruit as they might otherwise. Uh, also, phosphorus is involved in root growth. This high-tech instrument from Australia is called a dual pH meter. It mixes a liquid solution with soil for fast results. It allows us to process 120 samples in the time it would take a normal person just to do one tray of 40. Join says the lab is able to get results much quicker now than just a few years ago. Right now our turnaround time is a day. For plants, life starts from the ground up. So think of soil as your first key building block. Soil can never really pass the eye test, so sometimes you have to dig a little deeper. This is Chuck Denny reporting.